Where to? Wherever Templar affairs lead us. Liam, it's not like you to set out without a plan. Plan or no plan, we choose our own battlefield. And hey, we're not most at ease when we're at sea. Right you are. Let's set sail. Us closer to the artifacts. So Achilles tasked you with this mission? No. He tasked me to task you. We need to find what was stolen from Mac and Dalshay. We have to recover the precursor box of manuscript. This is your mission. And what's yours? To watch your arse. Achilles doesn't really trust me, does he? Give it time, Shay. Do this for him, for us, and you'll do much more than earn his trust. Liam! You know what Achilles writes about? I see him in his office all the time, bent over his papers. He keeps records and accounts, studies what little is known about the pieces of Eden. And of course, he corresponds with assassins on other continents. Of course. Liam, you could be a right horse's arse when it comes to assuming everyone knows the same as you. I cannot help if Achilles wants me to be familiar with our counterparts in Europe and elsewhere. Said like his favorite son. Connor's his favorite and only son. And Achilles is there. Connor may inherit the house, but you'll be mentor. We'll see. Whatever you say, Prince Regent of the Assassins. You call me that again. I throw you in the ocean. He'll go ashore and he'll not be going to buy some girl. Gold, but mate! When his money's all gone, it's a silly old song. Get up! Down. Come along, come along, we jolly brave boys, there's plenty more grog in the store. We'll plow the briny ocean like a jolly rose. Loose bait sails! Oh, Jack is wild weather beat, too old to cruise about. They'll let him stop in some rum shop till eight bells calls him out. <laughs> then he'll raise hands high and loud, he'll cry, Thank Christ, I'm homeward now. When his money's all gone, it's the same old song. Get up, Jack John, sit down. Come along, come along, my jolly brave boys. There's plenty more grog in the jar. We'll plow the briny ocean like a jolly roving tar. Come along, come along, my jolly brave boys. There's plenty more grog in the jar. We'll plow the briny ocean like a jolly roving tar.
trust me, you will sell those lobster by the tongue in France. Ah, the cabbage farmer has returned. About time. We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it, imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. But one of our allies has caught a glimpse of their work. A pirate? A spy who worked with the pirate. We set sail for Anticosti. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. How trustworthy are the pirates? I consider them brothers, Shane. When the time comes, they will lend aid and help us fight the Templars. If only the roast beef would realize the Templars were pulling their strings. Are the Templars truly in control in the colonies? Not quite, but their influence reaches far and wide. And what about the spy we're meeting? You need not worry about Le Chasseur. He is loyal to the Brotherhood. As it happens, he also has friends in both the French and English fleets. And he knows more about what goes on in these parts than you can ever hope to learn. So Liam, what could you tell me about Adewale? You obviously admire the man. Should be nearby, Castor. Douse the rails and tops! Two up tops! Douse the mains! A trip to There's the men. There, Captain. An English vessel. And she looks to be in trouble. That's fine indeed. Perhaps we should aid her journey to the bottom of the sea. Now let's not be too hasty. She's full of crown cargo. Take a look through your spyglass and see for yourself. Could you sight? I say this is a good day to lighten King George's pockets. Be careful. A few shots should be enough to cripple her. Too much damage and she'll go down with all souls. And all spoils. We can board and loot her before the crew knows what hit them. Unfurled, mates! Let's move! Let loose the mains! Tops, gallants, royals, studs! Well up, lads. Loose the royals. Trim the yards off the wind! Us on the ball! No sail! Give me some speed! Douse the gallants and royals! Let go of anchor! Yeah. Captain John for a cold death! I'll enjoy this, I will. Come on, don't lose the shit! Busy enough, mate. I've got a good line on him. Can't get away, cops. The sinker. Now's the time. Let's board her. Four, Captain. Come on, men. Spoils are ours. For the more against.
Yourselves. And the sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. We should strengthen the Morgan before going any further. There's a harbour master station nearby. We'll spend our new wealth on improvements. I didn't realize there was a brotherhood in Haiti. Yes. Francois McCandle is their mentor. He gathers many of his assassins from the Maroons. Those are escaped slaves and their children, right? They are. A shame, though. Escaped terrible conditions only to be killed in that earthquake. But... Haiti's a French colony now. Aye, it is. Is this the place? I see nothing but fishermen and their gear. Aye, per se and fishing go hand in hand. But it will serve our purposes well enough. The French fish these waters first, but King George is laying claim to more every year. The locals are caught in the middle. You'd better borrow some coin. Bartering with an empty purse won't get you very far. Plus en plus d'anglais dans le nouveau monde. Il commence à y avoir du monde. Il va y avoir un combat. Can I provide? Later then. What do you be needing today then? Bit of business, Resume course to Anticosti, Captain. Indeed. The chasseur is waiting for us. 
the sea between here and Anticostia is rough, Captain. The Morrigan seems sturdy enough for the challenge. Ships ahoy! More fishermen from Perse. Enemy ships! They're sinking the fishing boats! They must believe those fishermen strayed into their waters. How it must be! And we just look at that. Standing right in our way to Antipas. Every last one of them. For once, I find myself agreeing with you, Shay. Stranger things have happened. Thing figured out for us. And yeah, maybe I'm Emperor of Rome. Obvious Caesar. Salt hair, open skies. A man out on the ocean is as free as a man can be. What do you say, Liam? We're out here for a reason, Shay. Mind your duty. Well, what's the point of freedom if you cannot breathe deep and enjoy it? The Templars stick to this continent like tar. I don't feel liberated until we pry them off. Seems to me we should just talk to them like men, instead of skulking around. There it is. Anticosti. The chasseur should be there. And with any luck, he will know where to find that manuscript. Sergeant get off the squall! Dock the ship. Appear, Captain. We've arrived at Anticosti Island. Anchor away! Captain, go to the deep! Take a look at this. I borrow these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. Le Chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Shea Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium dream. Were there no charts? No, no, no maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could ken Where is the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay. It's your turn to find him. You, sir, have our thanks 